Online giant Amazon announced today it is buying the upscale grocery chain Whole Foods for $13.4 billion. The all-cash merger deal is the latest move by Amazon to get into the food industry and expand their pre presence in brick-and-mortar retail. Co-founder of Market Snacks, Nick Martell, joins us now. Nick, Amazon is a digital company primarily. Whole Foods has aisles and carts. Why are they getting married? Well, this is super strategic because Amazon's not just buying a grocery store chain here. They are getting into 400 of the wealthiest areas in the United States that are future distribution centers for the brand where they can start selling anything. It's way more strategic than when they sold that like $12 asparagus water a few years ago. Distribution meaning that people would go to Amazon to pick up their stuff or that they would have hubs there to ship more stuff out to wealthy suburbs? Well, this just gives them a new access point to consumers in key areas. So when you go to an Ama when you go to a Whole Foods, you know, you're not just buying this expensive, free-range, super local chicken. You're also buying, you know, maybe a couple plots of plants uh, or maybe some grocery delivery stuff for um, when it comes to cleaning the house. But now they can use this to sell even more product. But it's also strategic because for Whole Foods, you know, this was kind of the end of the line for them. They were getting pushed and pressure from their board on this. The but so now, I, get, I get things from Amazon yeah. that are essentially coupons telling me to buy now online, buy yeah. an online product, and they will give me a discount. So I thought Amazon was still a big online shopping company. Are they not competing against themselves or betting against themselves here? No, Amazon has done something really interesting here. They've dominated the retail industry for the last few years. They're now bigger than the 12 largest U.S. retailers in total. Wow. And they've disrupted that market. So now they're kind of switching the game up and going into brick and mortar to move things around, um, specifically with groceries. They've got Amazon Fresh already. Um, they've tested out this click and pay model where the actually as the consumer can buy groceries ahead of time and then pick them up in store. Now, I want to ask this other uh, question because yeah. it's interesting. Walmart has bought Bonobos. Now, Walmart, my mother lives in West Virginia. Yeah. Walmart is a mainstay of middle America. You mm -hmm. can get cheap, off-market, really, clothes there. Bonobos, on the other hand, hip corner retailer in totally. places like Manhattan, L.A. Yeah, my roommates love it. You don't expect them to be working together? No. But this is all, again, part of this big strategy for Walmart to learn by buying. Walmart is the largest retailer in the United States with brick and mortar stores. So Walmart's coming in and saying, we don't really know how to do e-commerce. We can't connect with millennials. Last year, they bought Jet.com. Now they're buying Bonobos, which are the two brands that were probably most used when I lived in the East Village with a few guys, that we would go to those websites. So for them, it's not about the brands. You're not going to start seeing Bonobos in a Walmart store. Okay. What you are going to see is the knowledge sharing coming from a Bonobos on how they can actually use that, how Jet.com's e-commerce history can actually help Walmart adapt to the new e-commerce phenomenon. So you have a digital company betting that they're going to need physical assets, and then you have a physical company betting that it can benefit from yeah. digital assets. Yeah. It sounds like nobody knows what the future is. Well, this is all about this hybrid merger now of online and offline. We know the trend is for online sales, but not everyone's fully adapted to this. This is why you can pop into a Bonobo store, an actual brick and mortar store now. You're gonna sit down, they're gonna like hook you up with an IPA or a kombucha or something to make you feel comfortable if you're just a millennial guy. You're gonna see some slim fit pants, try them on, buy them, and then you're gonna leave and not actually bring the pants home with you you're gonna get home and they're gonna be delivered to you. So they're actually blending these models to see if it works. Hmm. Same thing when we were talking about Whole Foods before. Previously, you know, they've had this partnership with Instacart, a food delivery startup so that you can order your almond butter as a millennial and actually get it shipped home from a Whole Foods. That's been kind of blending, again, the in-store experience with e-commerce because they also enabled you to actually go in-store and purchase what you bought online. All right, Nick Martell, founder of Market Snacks. There's a newsletter involved, I believe. Absolutely, the daily e-newsletter from Market Snacks. Very good, thank you very much. Thanks.